I'm at the Schneider drop lot in Converse. I'm parked in the uh, Bobtail area. Just want to do a little tour of the cab. I keep forgetting to do this. I might, I might not remember when I come back. But uh, I've cleaned out a bunch of my stuff. Let's see if the lighting adjusts. Um, there's not much. There's just some boxes and stuff. I'll be uh, taking the rest of this up, uh, load it into my vehicle when I come back. Probably tomorrow. Um, I'm going to run this truck over to Laredo is the plan, I think. Um, but I got most of my stuff out already. Um, you see, there's a little cubby hole. Would have been nice to have shelves, but that's where I used to keep food. Um, there's a little, a little fridge down here. Uh, there's a drawer. Actually, I should probably clean that out. That's why some of these boxes are still here, so I can clean out the rest of this. A little cutting board never used. Or a shelf, I guess, or a desk. Let's see, I don't think I gave a good view of that. Oh, whatever. There's this little thing. Um, this whole space has been surprisingly comfortable and I've I've enjoyed it a lot. I've enjoyed living here. It's uh, on the road. It's better, I guess, than it might look. It's not too bad, not too bad. So I got some of this stuff to clean out, but I still need to, I need to do a better job next time of organizing and only bringing what I need. There was tons of stuff back up here that I never used. Um, I need to... I think I need to prefer going without some things rather than trying to make sure I have everything I need. Because it's just too much stuff. But this is the cab. It's got uh, 274... 748 miles on it. It'll have a little bit more when I deliver it to Laredo. That's what I do. I started with something around, it was at 166, and I forget what the other was, but 166,000 miles on it. So I put about 35,000 miles on it. Wasn't crazy. We were slow some of the time, um, but it's good experience and got out over the road my first first experience over the road and as you can see um let's see if it comes adjust again uh the tv mount is empty uh, i didn't have a tv with me i had some books i didn't read very much either uh i mostly just watched some videos on my phone went went as i ate dinner and then went to sleep um and got up and started driving again but uh this was the little, the little space i'm not showing myself because i need a shower i need a haircut i need a shave i'm a mess so i'm not on camera today i need to take care of that and go um on 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 the way home i'm gonna take the, the load of out of the, the stuff i've already taken out of the truck probably spend the night and come back tomorrow and see i still have to see what the, the schedule is for tomorrow there it is hopefully remember what it was like to run the first in the first truck is it international i don't know what year it was or what series but uh, let me just go ahead and take a, a walk around outside International did okay for me. I don't know. I don't have anything to compare it to, so I guess. Oh, I do need to turn those lights off. That's why they're blinking. But it's got. Uh, it's been through a lot of dirt and debris. It hasn't been washed since I've had it, except for when it rains.
And that, that back, that skid plate looks like it's a mess. I don't know. Somebody. No. There needs to be something done about that or not. It's still got a bunch of grease on it though. And that's, that's my first truck.